guys. I'm just here to talk about uh, some gear and stuff that uh, helps with hunting and the outdoor life here in northern Alberta. Um, I bought this pack frame here at uh, Cabela's. It was, I think it was 60 bucks or something like that. Just a regular pack frame, you know, there's nothing special about it. Uh, good waist strap, good shoulder straps, nice and thick and stuff like that. It's all good. Um, the one thing I didn't like about this pack was that it didn't come with anything extra, which when you buy a pack that is uh, by itself or just a just a pack frame, it is pretty plain, which is what I initially wanted, but I wanted to make it better. And if anyone knows me, like, they think they know me, they know that I can't just leave things alone. I have to modify them, make them better. Um, I see a lot of pack frames that... Uh, or backpacks in general that have lots of uh, extras, you know, ones that you can, you know, if you're hunting coyotes or varminting, you can turn into seats and stuff like that. Uh, for the kind of outdoor stuff that I do, uh, which is mostly, you know, uh, what the hippies would call backcountry, uh, to me it's just everyday life, um, I wanted a pack that I can take camping and have it somewhat modular. Uh, this one here in specific, I bought this one for this reason, is that I see the great potential to use it for many different things. All the pack frames that have, uh, you know, sacks and bags that you can put on the back, and you use those mostly for camping gear, hiking, uh, just putting all your shit in that, you know, it's cool, but like I said, if you, uh, you know me and how I have to modify everything, uh, I wanted more out of the bag, and so what I did was, uh, I took the legs off an old bipod I had, a, a fairly big bipod, like a, I think it was a 12 to 36 inch, um, which, as most guys know, for just regular shooting, you know, in a prone position, 12 inches is is pretty high. It's almost too much. If you're sitting down on your butt. I mean, that's cool, uh, works good, you know, for that, but, uh, I took these legs off anyways, and I attached them to my pack frame, uh, I used, uh, pit pins, or whatever you want to call them, uh, and took the bipod apart, put the legs on here, and in the end, what I was looking for was a, what I could use my pack frame for, uh, going up, setting up camp and and basically just using it as a chair um, having it modular and doing all, more than just what a pack frame does so what I did was I attached these cables to it attached the arms uh, use these tiny little cables here and some uh, carabiners here just to basically hold it tight when it's stowed uh, so what ends up happening is these arms they come back like this and it's against the dirt. So you have, at this point, a backrest, which is usable for many things, um, whether you sit down on the lower support, which is used for, uh, if you want to carry a quarter of a deer or something like that, you put it on here, you rest it on this, strap it to the pack frame, you can carry it out if you're hiking in lots of different difficult places and whatnot. Um, but what I seen this to be used for was actually a seat. So you can sit on this, you extend these uh, legs, and uh, you can sit on the pack frame on the lower support here if you'd like. If not, the other thing that I thought of was why stop there? So what I did was, now, in my line of work I, I fix airplanes and I specialize in sheet metal repair. What I did was I built a lightweight aluminum, this thing weighed less than a pound, put a nice foam uh, seat on here, and what it essentially does is, again, use the same cables that I buy from a local hardware store. Uh, they clip in, uh, much like so, real quick and easy, and they slide in the two um, things here like this. So 
What you end up with is uh, support legs to uh, recline or lean back and helps you from falling over, you know, uh, smacking your head in the ground. But you also know how to seat. Uh, what the seat does is enables you to, if you're vomiting or, you know, hunting coyotes or whatever, you're calling in some uh, dogs, you can sit on this and uh, behind a tree or in some thicket or whatever and uh, not be putting your ass on the cold ground because nobody likes doing that. Uh, two supports, one on each side. Um, did that for that exact reason. So this little thing sits here like this. Um, uh, two legs, one on each side. Uh, with the same cables, I believe they're uh, one sixteenth inch cables. So just some thin stuff. Uh, clip some loops into them on the ends, uh, right here. Uh, not just for cable stops, but so when you use the uh, carabiners that I showed you earlier, uh, and you fold them up, you can wrap the cables around and clip them into the end. It keeps them spilled nice and easy. Uh, all in all, this pack frame weighs less than four pounds. Um, really light. That's with the seat. Uh, it's three and a few ounces. Uh, just the frame itself, and then, like I said, the seat weighs less than a pound itself. So uh, works out pretty good. Uh, I've used it quite a few times, uh, just sitting out, trying it out. I've yet to take it out this fall. It's uh, end of February here now, and there's a well, foot of snow everywhere, so it's not really the best for just going out and camping and hiking. And I got a new kid and the family and stuff, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to uh, go out and try it out yet, but I think it'll work good. Just sitting down on the ground, whatever, you're more than enough stabilized. Uh, so all in all, I got a boat. You know, the pack was about 60, the frame was about 60 bucks, and then it was about another 60 or 70 for the uh, the bipod, which I bastardized and took the legs off of to use for this. Um, and then probably another $20 worth of stuff between the foam seat here, which just helps keep your ass a little warm, and then making the frame. Um, it took me about two hours to make the frame or so. Um, like I said, I wanted a modular, so uh, what a guy can do is he takes the carabiners off here like so, um, brings them down. He can bring down the second set of loops here, and you can sit close to the ground for better cover, or if you want to just sit closer to the fire or whatever you're doing. All in all, it's a good uh, good setup I find so far. Um, like I said, I haven't tried out too much as far as actually using it. I'll find it out this fall. Um, with this frame, you can stick it on here and then wrap the cables around. Uh, it just rests on the lower support. Wrap the cables around the frame, tie them into each other. They both have the same loops on the end. Um, and it keeps it sturdy. So if you're packing a bunch of gear, if you're hiking into a spot that's uh, you know far away and you don't want to carry a whole bunch of extra gear, you still have the seat. Nobody wants to carry a seat. You know, sitting on the ground, growing up here in northern Alberta, sitting on the ground is not the end of the world, but... We have a seat to sit down, you know, especially if everyone else is laying on the ground. It's, it's nice to sit on the seat. Um, keeps it a little bit warmer. Um, many upgrades to come. I wouldn't mind to get a, a moldy, molly, whatever you want to call it, uh, platform here where I can just put all my stuff. I have a first aid kit. That's all. Most of my gear is molly, so I wouldn't mind to strap it all here and then put a big uh, canvas bag on here to put my sleeping bag and stuff which I said lower at the bottom on the, so on the support uh, that way a guy can you know if he's hiking and he's fully self sufficient stoves and all that crap wherever you're into if you're just making a fire and, you know around here we have fire season for the first part of summer almost every time and kind of throws a hamper on stuff but at least the guy put all his gear on here and if you go to pack an animal out you know you can uh at least take your seat with you or leave it behind or whatever it's telling up for you like I said it comes off completely uh, with the leg supports you can uh, adjust them you can pull the uh, carabiners up and attach them to different supports on the uh, frame itself and that really helps you uh, as far as the modular phase goes sorry you have to bear with me this is my first video here um, I hope you like it so far uh, didn't add any weight, extra weight to it, but really a whole lot. Um, you know, a backpack's a great way to travel. I've done quite a bit of snowshoeing with uh, backpacks and firearms and a lot of winter camping gear and stuff, and it's, um, it's a good way to get out and just uh, enjoy the uh,
snowy winter, when, which we all know can be quite long and pretty trying sometimes. But uh, hope you like the idea. Um, I know there's lots of bags out here that have this kind of set up already. Um, most of them I find are very pricey. You know, you you put some kind of uh, camel crap on it. I call it camel crap because camel is to me is the biggest waste of money ever. Um, unless you're you know if you're hunting animals, you don't need camel. If you're hunting humans, maybe you do. I don't know. Whatever you're up to, uh, that's your prerogative, I guess. But uh, usually, when you pay for something um, that's ready-made or you know you buy at the store, you're you're paying for the the knickknacks, the little stuff. And that's what I wanted with this was buy a pack frame for something cheap, you know, sixty dollars, and add to it as far as what I can do with uh, the skill set I have to make it what I want it to be without having to uh, pay a whole lot, you know. Uh, 60 bucks for a pack frame from, uh, I think I said from Cabela's, it actually was uh, Bass Pro Shops in uh, Calgary, I bought this. You know, they had a big whole rack of them and I saw that and I was like, holy crap, that's awesome. You know, we do a lot of canoeing and outdoor stuff and a backpack is something that often gets overlooked, but a good one is something that, as far as I'm concerned, should never get overlooked. Um, one cool feature with the backpack is because these legs were made from uh, a Harris bipod, uh, you push the little buttons and they retract super quick. And, you know, people see that and they're like, oh, that's cool, you know, oh, look at that, some neat knick-knacky, you know. So the, the gear guys, stuff, the guys that like the gear shit, uh, they'll like that. And like I said, you can pull these around and, and stow them so that... Uh, you know, to keep them straight so they're not hitting you in the side when you're hiking or whatever. Uh, a few times I've used it, it works pretty good. I, I, I would like to see more of this stuff out there. I, I love the outdoors. I love going out and shooting, um, camping, uh, what people call, you know, backwoods camping and stuff like that. To me, it's just camping. Um, it's kind of a granola eating, tofu farting thing for me, for them people who call it backwoods. Uh, I don't know. It's It's what the city kids call it, I guess. Um, but getting out there, especially in northern Alberta, is, is one of the best things, but it's nice to do when you don't have to pay, you know, an arm and a leg. Um, like I said, a lot of that stuff costs a lot of money just because it has a brand name to it or just because, you know, it's a trademark camouflage or something like that, you know? Like, I've seen pack frames that were very similar to this that the pack frames had a, a camel wrap or a dip or whatever you want to call it and you know they were like 120 bucks it's literally double what I paid for this and they were smaller frames they weren't factory as modular you know the uh, the upright didn't extend uh, didn't come with a lower support uh, really flimsy small skinny waist uh, waist wraps and uh, shoulder straps and stuff like that you know something makes it better and if the guy just takes the time to uh, anybody knows anything uh, as far as I'm concerned about going out there and just getting shit done, uh, doesn't always look for, you know, real tree or doesn't look for, uh, you know, a certain brand of something, you know, like Kuyu or whatever, which is all great stuff, don't get me wrong, but you, as you all know, you do pay an arm and a leg for it, and whether it helps you or not, I, I, I don't think it does, but that's just my thing. Um, Yeah, I hope you like the idea of this. Uh, there'll be more to come once I get the uh, the vest, uh, of the vest, sorry, the um, the molly cover to attach all the extra stuff. I'll post another video once I get that on there, and hopefully it works out pretty good. I know uh, it's Blue Ridge Overland Gear. They have uh, when you put in the, uh, the seat backs of vehicles, it's like sixty or seventy bucks. Mm, I think it might be USD. I'm not too sure. But either way, nobody else really makes anything like that of that size at this point in time. Uh, the one I was looking at would fit this just perfectly. Um, you know, going on long canoe trips or uh, even just quadding or even just hiking. I mean, that's what this is for, was just hiking. Uh, so, you know, strapping on a set of snowshoes and just going in and having fun. Um, you can fill your gear on it. A frame this size, uh, size is, is more than enough for what most people need. People think you need a, you know, a deuce and a half worth of gear to go out for a weekend, and that's just as far as I'm concerned, BS. Um, you know, this this top frame here extends out to, you know, about here, 
or a foot or so higher um, if you were to take this out and make your own bend it out of uh, 5 eighths tubing or whatever you can extend it as high as you want it obviously you wouldn't want it too high that would just be ridiculous um, yeah that's kind of the first project uh, of many we got lots of projects in the go all the time for making camping gear and uh, more accessible and easy to use and just going out and having a good time out, outside you know nobody wants to sit indoors and, and be a city kid uh, nobody likes their Versace and Armani and shit that much and if you do then you're just wasting time and money as far as I'm concerned it's all about going out there and having a good old uh, wholesome family time anyways we'll catch up with you next time and hopefully I'll have that Blue Ridge uh, thing on here and we can strap some stuff to it and maybe we'll go for a hike and Maybe we'll be hunting season and shoot some stuff. Take care.